Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use settings in your C Sharp application. So fire up Visual Studio and create a new project of Windows Form. I'm going to leave the settings at default with the location and name. You can access the properties of a Windows Form application in two ways. First you can right click the application, select properties, and access it via the settings pane. Or you can expand the properties pane and double click settings dot settings file you can do it however you like because both ways eventually lead to the same thing so in this menu you can see that a property has four settings you can set the name for example I'm going to create a property that's going to make my application launch with a certain background color that the user chooses so I'm gonna call this dad's background I'm gonna select the type as system drawing color I'm going to leave the scope at user level and I'm going to select the value as um, blue <clears throat> so let's create another property called mom's background I'm going to select the type as the same as dad's background a system drawing dot color keep it at user level and select pink now let's create a third property called selected background I'm going to leave this as a string because this is just going to save what property is going to be used on on uh, the application launch so uh, leave it at string leave the scope at user as well and leave this set the value to dad save the file and that's it your application properties is done now let's use them go back to the form design pane and drag a menu menu strip <coughs> select uh, type in theme and let's type in select theme so this is what my dad's going to click when he wants to use his theme and my mom when she wants to use her theme. Double click the menu item to create its click event. Okay. So now you see we have two events. One when somebody clicks the dad tool strip and one when somebody clicks the mom tool strip. In the dad tool strip we're going to select the background color of the form. So type in this dot back color equal to access the properties during runtime you have to use the properties namespace properties dot settings dot default dot and as you can see we can access the properties it tells you the type of the property its color and the name dad's background so since this is the dad tool strip let's select dad's background let's also change the the other property remember we have another property that's just a string the selected background let's change that to dad so properties dot default settings dot default dot selected background and change it to dad Now what happens when your application closes, you want to save the properties, right? You don't want to lose them. So you can use the properties dot settings dot default dot save. And this little method is going to save stores the current value of all application settings properties. So it saves all the information to the XML file. Let's just copy paste this over to the other event and change. mom's background set this to mom <coughs> and there you have it if you run the application now nothing's going to happen because well we don't have a method that loads the appropriate setting right so go back to the design pane double click the form to create the form load event and in this form we're going to do all the magic 
So when your application launches, you want to select the the background color according to what's saved in this selected background property, right? So create a switch. of the properties dot settings dot default dot selected background create a switch okay now in case it's dad set this dot back color to properties dot settings dot default dot dad's background and in case the setting is set to mom create the mom this dot back color equal properties dot settings dot default dot mom's background okay okay let's so click build rebuild your solution oh cannot fall through forgot the break statement don't forget about that that's important <clears throat> okay now it should work rebuild your solution misspelled that okay third time's a charm there we go, all succeeded. So navigate to your My Documents, Visual Studio, Projects. My solution is called Windows Form Application 4. So go to that folder. Go into the bin folder, the debug, and just copy everything you find there. Create a new folder called Example. okay launch your application as you can see uh, remember we set the, s the default background in the settings to dad that's why it's loading see it's called dad if we look at the switch statement we're saying if it's dad set this background color so let's change it